your precious Drake rap album is never coming out. Like, just just give it up. Yeah. Enjoy what you can get. No, I mean, and, and honestly, that's spot on. And this, and this, and this is one of, the, one of the reasons why Drake, I don't even, Drake doesn't even bother me. I, you know I me, mean? I root for the guy. I actually like him. Uh, I like him as a guy. He's like, he, he maneuvers smart, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, but like, to your point, it's like, okay, everybody has the different version of Drake that they like. And everybody that I've ever, ever had a conversation with about Drake only likes one of those lanes. Mm. And again, and it's just like, yo, if, okay, cool. How can you say somebody is a great artist if you only like 25 to 50% of their, of their catalog, with the exception of the R&B stuff, because his singing is horrendous. Let's just get that out of the way. His, his singing is terrible. So I definitely grade him low on that. Uh, but yeah, for, for the most part, he does everything as a B minus or above. But the dude, he's, he's genuinely like probably someone who's considered and held on the, the pedestal and lauded as much as he is. He is probably the, one of the most unoriginal people ever. And I say that because he doesn't like he basically Drake is a, co- a musical colonizer. <laughs> you know what I mean? He does, he's like, like ooh, I like this. I'm going to go try to do this. Ooh, ooh, you know, dance hall. I'm going to do this. Oh, okay, you know, whatever the UK version of Drill is. Oh, okay, cool. I'm going to go do this. You know what I mean? But again, he doesn't. He doesn't blend it too. You know, he doesn't like. I don't know. Okay, okay. I feel. I feel like I'm devil's advocate out here because on this side, I gotta be like you said. There's nothing original about him. Okay. Well, first off, I'm just gonna play the other side here. First off, Drake is by far the most successful singer rapper ever. That's just not even this is Jordan versus everybody else statistically, Brady versus everyone else. So that's not a, an originality point, but it is a sign of it is a sign to it's, his that's, that's yeah. Okay, so we have that. Now, wouldn't you say that Drake's flow uh, and some of his like lyrical structure has been duplicated to such a degree that there has to be some originality to it. Like I'm thinking about the, what I call like the Drake bar, which is something like haters doubt me, but then I end the bar with a little quietness. Like there's this very like, uh, very like, all right, I, I say something epic and then I end it like this. Like, I don't know. He did, there's a weird Drake bar. Like, okay, Jack Harlow, when people say he raps like Jack, Jack Harlow raps like Drake, there's you have to be original enough for somebody to steal the style that you supposedly don't have. I mean, what do you say to that? I, I would say that Drake popularized a lot of sounds that he didn't necessarily create. That's what I would say. You know, because even early on, like after a certain, like you know, what I mean, like first couple of projects, all, all of a sudden my man sounded like Diet Wayne. You know what I mean? And my started rapping like that. You know what I mean? Like no, yeah, yeah. I, I'm not there. gonna deny that. Like we're not gonna deny that. Um, he really like had the they call me Drizzy. Even like Drizzy is is a just Wayne thing. Even but though it, I don't know how and you mean just that high pitched kind of uh, airy nasally voice thing that he like. Yeah, yeah, but then he switched it. Him. But that's yeah. not that's not Drake in his prime. That's Drake finding himself. No different than Jay Z with the fast flow from Jazzo prior to um, Reasonable Doubt. Really prior to like Volume Two and past Jay, where he slowed it all down. Like Drake. The real Drake we're talking about is like, let's be real. It's like zero to a hundred after like headlines and all I mean, that. Like, Take like, care. Uh, like, like, you know, when, I, and when I say originality, I mean something that we haven't heard before or in a way we haven't heard before. And again, like, you know me, I'm not necessarily the biggest Kendrick fan. But again, when you listen to a Kendrick album, you know, what I mean, you're hearing you're hearing a new sound, like, especially with his last album, like the way that he like, you know, I mean, like jazz and blues and into hip hop and soul. And like, it's a new sound, the way that Kendrick, he, I wouldn't necessarily say he does, you know, I mean, he does singing at times, but the way that he'll sing something, go into some bars and then come back into singing and then to kind of do a little mixture of the two, you know what I mean? Like, that's original. You're singing and rapping, but you're doing it in a way that ha- like that we haven't really heard before, and that's when I when I say he's not original because it's not like he tricks. He's either singing, he's either rapping, or he's singing or he's rapping. You know what I mean? And he's not necessarily giving us anything in a 
something that we haven't had before. Well, and well that's but then I mean let's bring I'm... it back. Okay, again, devil's advocate here. Let's bring it back. You've just gotten the original thing. It's called the Drake House album. It's called the first time a major rapper, a top 10 as far as um, sales, at least. Let's not talk, talk about skills for a second, but a top 10 rapper has done a house album. And frankly, it's one of the only major rap albums, meaning by a major rapper, that is instrumental first. That was one big reaction I had. I was like, huh, this is an instrumental first. The only other major rapper I can think where the music, meaning the beats, the instruments, really almost are more important than the rap itself, of course, would be Kanye West's occasional album. Like, occasionally on a Kanye West album, like on Yeezus or even late registration, like I'm almost like, like the beats it, make the again, album. Again, like I mean, you, again, you basically told us what, what he gave us. He gave us Drake making a house album. Now, as far as your point goes, in terms of like a top ten rapper or whatever, all of a sudden just dropping a house album. No, okay, that's a first. But okay, cool. Granted, I'm about to date myself, but okay, cool. You could consider when Outkast when they were in their prime. That they were basically top tier. Granted, it was a group, but they are top yes, tier. Yes. Andre 3000 We'd be lying considered if said one not. of the top ten. Yeah, Andre 3000 considered one of like a top ten rapper. He's like pretty much on almost anybody over the age of thirties, like top ten uh, greatest MCs list for the most part. Uh, rapper at the top of his career drops a non-rap album that was the the, uh, the Love Below, and again, what can, you can't even call that. You can't even put that into a genre. Because it was original. D'Lo, not necessarily a top five, the guy who started out in Southern rap and all of a sudden goes solo and gives us, you know what I mean, like gives us the music that he did, gives us uh, Gnarls Barkley, you know what I mean, found that something that we've never heard before. Now, we can argue about whether that Gnarls Barkley album was any good or not. Uh, different story. But again, you know I mean, what I mean? Like hey, a lot uh, of the- hey, uh, as great as it is, is a 50s pop song with sung by a rapper. Like that, uh, let's just keep it fair here. Like this, hey, ya uh, is not. I've never heard a genre like this before. It's. I mean, literally, the video is fifty pop. Like the video does, or you know, okay, crazy. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give CeeLo that one. Gnarls Barkley, very original. Blah blah blah. Uh, but F U by CeeLo. That's a that's a doo wop song by a rapper, and so. I see what you're saying, although I just want to keep it above the belt and say we can play this game that you're playing technically with a lot of people. Like you can say, well, Lauren Hill is just a street rapper chick, but she's singing in a doo-wop form as well with X Factor or she's singing over Neo Soul, but she's a rapper. So now the people I listed might do it better, but we got to keep it fair that that. To act like Drake isn't an entity within himself, I, I, I got to give him a little bit more props than that, especially given. But you're right that Kendrick. Yeah, no, but, yeah. but here's my here's my thing. But my thing is like I'm not like and I'm not trying to downplay his his. I'm not trying to really downplay his success because that's undeniable. You know what I mean? Like it, it's completely undeniable. Uh, and like as you as you put it, an entity within himself. But again, when we're talking about the the actual product. Not necessarily Drake as a as a product, but the music itself, it's it it to me, in my humble opinion, lacks originality. Again, it's just like okay, cool. He's just like all right. He's like, like I said, he's a musical colonizer. All of a sudden, he, like he he's like oh okay, cool. I'm like yeah, I was in Jamaica for a summer, and all of a sudden now he's Dutchy whining. You know what I mean? All he needs <laughs> is one dime. 